Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfi TV. Today we are going to talk about the various types of Eleko dumbbells. The story behind my dumbbell collection is um, back in February, before the pandemic hit um, Malaysia, one of my members actually offered to um, loan his money to, to get some dumbbells. And we didn't have any dumbbells at, the, at that time except for the Watson loadable dumbbell. But that was too short and too cumbersome for most of them. So um, he, he wanted me to get a set of dumbbells for, for, the, for the showroom. And uh, initially we had only a budget for the XF dumbbells, uh, which is the cheapest in the range. And, uh, but as a, show, uh, as a showroom, I wanted to showcase as many types of dumbbells that I possibly can. But um, in order for me to make that kind of investment, it takes a lot of money, <laughs> especially the Evo dumbbells that you see right here. Um, so, Alhamdulillah, during the MCO, um, I, I got a lot of sales and from, from that, we, uh, I took the advantage to actually get the full range, but not in all weights. So what I did was to actually um, get from uh, 12 kilos all the way to 45 kilos of dumbbells. And what I did was I bought the lighter dumbbells are the most expensive ones and the bigger dumbbells the least expensive with the exception of the uh, Vulcano, Vulcano disc dumbbells as you'll see later. So let's get into each of the different dumbbells. Let's start with the Evo dumbbell. This is the creme de la creme of uh, the Eleco uh, dumbbells and it comes in two versions. One is the fixed version and the other one is rotating. The one that we have is the rotating kind. And as you can see, it's really, really smooth. Um, it's almost like their barbells. And the steel that they use for the dumbbell is actually the same ultra clean steel that they use for their barbells. It's just that the hardening process is a little bit different. It was customized for the use of uh, a dumbbell. And um, in terms of the dumbbell head itself, it's made out of uh, polyurethane. It's a special mix of PU, which um, they said is very durable and scratch resistant. And if you've seen the promo video that they made, um, they threw this around from, uh, from, a, from great heights, just to show you that how durable this, this dumbbell really is. I'm not gonna do any throwing of this dumbbell because I paid for it and uh, I love it and I, I don't want to get, to get it uh, damaged or anything like that. But overall, um, I think you'll find that when you feel and you, and you use this dumbbell for the first time, you, you'll notice immediately the difference between this and, and any other dumbbells in the market uh, right now. I want to do a comparison with the Watson dumbbell um, uh, one day, uh, hopefully. I have a friend who actually has um, the Watson spinning dumbbells. So it would be nice to, to compare between that and this. So watch out for that video in the future, inshallah. But uh, other, things, uh, other things about this dumbbell that, uh, that i like to point out is that um, the grip, I mean, of course, it's knurled. And uh, I would say that it's not very aggressive. It's just right for, for dumbbell workouts. And uh, I don't think you, you probably, you know, uh, hurt your hands <laughs> uh, using this dumbbell. The, for, in terms of the grip diameter, there's a difference between the fixed one and also the rotating uh, Evo dumbbell. The fixed one is um, 30 mm um, up until 30 kilograms. Um, and for the spinning, the rotating um, dumbbell version, uh, the diameter is 38 mm. So it's a little bit thick, especially if you have small hands. Um, but 
um, I, I don't have a lot of um, female members here to actually testify whether or not this is a bit too big for them or whether, whether it's comfortable for them to, to grip properly and, and use. But uh, as you go higher than 32 kgs for the fixed dumbbell, the diameter goes up to 32 mm. And for the rotating dumbbell, it goes up to 42 mm. So it gets really thick at, at higher, higher weights, obviously to cater for, for the weight and also the bearings. Um, other than that, I think um, this is a wonderful uh, dumbbell. I've used it for, for some presses and whatnot. Uh, I do feel that you need still need, you probably need some getting used to because because how it spins and it feels a little bit um, a little bit jarring when uh, when you first use it. But you get used to it after a while. So that is the uh, Evo dumbbell. Uh, what I have here now is the Volcano dumbbell. All right, it is a fixed dumbbell. It doesn't um, spin. And um, the heads are rather small. So the feedback that I got from one of my members is that because it's small, it tends to be longer than the other uh, dumbbells. I am not too sure whether this is uh, true. Um, and because of the diameter of the head is small, it's difficult, he says, that it's difficult to, you know, when you want to push it off your legs and uh, do your, your presses, right? So it's very difficult to balance this because it's long, okay? And the problem of doing a review with limited dumbbells is that this gets really heavy for me to lift. So I'm not going to attempt it on this video. And, uh, but that's one of the concerns that he has. I'm not too sure if other people have the same problem with this type of uh, uh, dumbbell. Uh, let me just show you. So. It's pretty long, right, compared to the Evos. Um, I wish I had the Evos in uh, 22 kgs, but I just can't afford it, right? Well, not right now, at least. Maybe in the future, but this is like any other um, similar dumbbells out there in the market. I don't see any difference. Um, it feels a bit plasticky. Um, I guess, I suppose it does its job uh, as far as um, your training goes. Um, there's not, not much else to say. Um, I'm not too sure about the durability of this product. Um, I suppose we can say that since it's similar to any other dumbbells like this out in the market today, uh, the durability would be the same as that, those ones if you've, if you've seen it before. All right, so this is the Volcano, this dumbbell. Now we're going to go up the weight again for the next one, which is the XF dumbbell. All right, we've moved significantly higher up the weight scale. This is the 32 uh, kg XF dumbbell, and it's recognizable by the hex pattern. This is, oh my God, this is so heavy. <coughs> this is like any other hex dumbbells out there. The only difference is probably this Eleco logo right here, okay? The, di the grip is almost similar to the Volcano dumbbell, but from the looks of it, it's slightly smaller. Hold on, let me just check. Oh my God. Oh. I'm pretty sure that this is not wise to do. All right, yeah, so the uh, Grip on the XF, even though it's heavier, is smaller than the Volcano um, dumbbells. In terms of the feel, the material feels the same as the Volcano. Um, although I don't know whether it is, it doesn't matter. Um, this one, 
doesn't rotate at all, as you guys know. There's not much else that I can say about this dumbbell. Um, should you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, so this is, as I've mentioned, um, cheaper than the Volcano dumbbell. Now, the next one that we're going to uh, show is the Volcano Disc Dumbbell. Let me just put this back in the rack. Oh. Okay, the last dumbbell that uh, we have here is the Volcano Disc Dumbbell, not to be confused with the Volcano Dumbbell. Um, the reason uh, we got this, of course, number one is to showcase the different types of dumbbells that uh, Leco has. And the second thing is that I just love the way it looks, right? It is made out of, uh, okay, let me just show, show it to you. Ah! <laughs> it is made out of the Volcano Discs, right? The black ones that you see here. Um, the silver ones, I'm not too sure what they are. Uh, they used to have uh, a pro, pro dumbbell, um, which looks something like, like this, this, uh, this metallic um, disc. Uh, I don't know whether they, they use the same, the same uh, disc or not, but um, this, is, this, is the, this is how cool it looks like, right? And um, okay, God. just putting this on my lap is taking a lot of, sucking out a lot of energy from me. And uh, the reason, so let me just put this back down again. Uh, okay. The, re the reason I got this uh, at the heavier side is because the Volcano dumbbell and also the XF dumbbell only goes up to 40 kgs. The Volcano Disc Dumbbell goes all the way up to uh, 70 kgs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so, so I, wanted, I wanted a dumbbell that goes beyond 40 kg. Of course, I could have gotten the, uh, the Evo Dumbbell, which goes up to, I believe, right now is 60 kg, if I'm not mistaken. But again, all for, the, for obvious reasons, um, I, I, I went for the Volcano Disc Dumbbells because uh, it's cheaper than the Evo Dumbbells. So now we have a wide array of um, Eleco Dumbbells for people to see and also experience. Now, now the Volcano Disc Dumbbell, okay, I gotta show you this. So let me just catch my breath and uh, pick this up again. Oh my God. Ah, Okay, so the Volcano Disc Dumbbells also technically spins. Can you see that? Right? It spins. But it's not as smooth as the Evo Dumbbell. The handle is, is thick. It is not as thick as the Evo Dumbbells. Um, I'm assuming this is more like the fixed Evo dumbbell uh, grip size. I'm not certain, but uh, probably you can just look it up on Eleco's website. In terms of the grip, I feel the knurling is. I feel the knurling is the same as the Evo dumbbells, right? But overall, I think if you have the whole range of this this dumbbell in your gym, it would really look awesome. Right, it just looks menacing, right, with the black and silver. I just love it. But one thing to note though, the um, uh, Volcano Disc Dumbbell, the increment is uh, at 2.5 kgs. I think, um, I believe it's above 12.5 kg, it's 2.5 kgs increment. And it doesn't come um, uh, below 10 kgs. Once again, uh, you may look it up at uh, Eleco's website to see whether um, they have um, the these dumbbells on a lower uh, weight range. Um, the rest of the dumbbells are in 2 kg increments. So for example, the Evo dumbbells are 2, 4, uh, sorry, uh, the one that I have is 12, 14, 16, 18, blah, 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 blah. Same goes with the Volcano uh, dumbbells and also the XF 
dumbbells, all 2 kg increments. And uh, for this, it's 2.5 kg increments. Uh, let me just put this down again because it's hurting my thigh. <laughs> oh, my God. So there you have it. Those are all our, of our dumbbells that we have in the showroom. I do encourage you guys, if you are around this area, or if you're in Malaysia, drop by the showroom and, and look and feel and try the dumbbells that we have. Uh, and uh, feel the difference, okay? Both the Evo dumbbell and also the, the Vulcanodis dumbbells are made in Sweden. The other two are made in this region. <laughs> so uh, you can tell the difference, you can feel the difference. So I invite you over to come to our showroom in uh, Space Suite, Bukit Jelutong. And uh, well, that's it for me for this week's episode of Zilfit TV. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, as usual, just leave them down in the comment section below. If you need to contact me, my contact is in the description. So until next time, inshallah, that's it for me. Ciao. I have to, now I gotta put this down. Ugh!